guys, it's Parker here from Test Prep Champions again, and I'm going to do nothing. Hi guys, it's Parker here from TestPrepChampions.com, and I'm going to do another quick problem of the day here, and I'm going to try to keep this one very quick today. And so this is an exponent rule question. So how well do you know your exponent rules? We're going to let you pause the video now and go ahead and try this out on your own. Okay, so hopefully you got a chance to try this out. So the key to getting this question right is to really understand your exponent rules. And they're essential to know for the whole test really, but especially the problems that you have to do by hand without your calculator. You're going to definitely need to know these four. So let me just write these out here. So you've got a base and you've got your exponent. So whenever you've got the same base and you're multiplying the same base, all you need to do is you can rewrite it. So you've got a raised to the n power times a raised to the n power. We've got the same base. A is the base of both of these, and they're being multiplied together. We could just rewrite this as a raised to n plus m. So the n plus m power, essentially. So we've got 4 raised to the 5th power times 4 to the 3rd power. Can we rewrite that as 4 to the 8th power? Yes, we can, right? Because 4 raised to the 5th power, so really we could rewrite this as 4 raised to the 5 plus 3, and 5 plus 3 equals 8, so A is correct. So let me cross that off because A is not false, A is true. Okay, so the next one, 5 raised to the 10, or raised to the 10th power, however you want to say it, divided by 5 raised to the 6th power equals 5 over 4. So again, we've got to know an exponent rule here. And that rule is that whenever you've got a base raised to any number, okay, divided by that same base raised to a different number, we can rewrite that as the base raised to n minus m. Okay, and so we can kind of put that into math terms here with b. Let's check if b is right. So we've got 5 to the 10th power divided by 5 over 6. So we can then, following this rule, we can rewrite that 5 to the 10 divided by 5 to the 6. Okay, and following the rule, we can rewrite that as 5 to the 10 minus 6. And 10 minus 6 equals 4, so the final result would be 5 to the 4th. And so, therefore, B is correct. Okay. And so, let me skip C for a minute. Hopefully I'm not giving away the answer here when I say that. So for D, what you have to know is that any number raised to 1 is always going to be itself. Okay, so any number raised to the first power, I don't care if it's a million raised to the first power, 2,950 billion raised to the first power, it's always going to just be itself. So whenever you've got a base raised to the power of 1, the answer is just going to be the base. So we've got 999 raised to the first power. That just equals 999. That's true for any number. So D is correct. And I've got the microwave going off in the background. So let me try to keep this fast so you don't have to listen to that while you try to concentrate on my voice at the same time. So E, 4 to the 5th times 4 to the 5th equals 4 times 4 to the 5th. And so here's another rule that you would want to know. The rule is you've got, let's say, A raised to n times b raised to the n, okay? And you can just rewrite this as a times b raised to the nth power, okay? And so it doesn't matter here. We've got 4 raised to the 5th times 4 raised to the 5th. They're both the same exponent, so you can rewrite that as 4 times 4 raised to the 5th. It doesn't matter. We can make this 14. We could have 4 to the 5th times 14 to the 5th, and the answer would just be 4 times 14 to the 5th based on this rule here. So E is correct. And so hopefully it's been obvious that C is the, the false answer here. So C is the correct answer because it's false. So any number raised to the 0 power is just going to be equal to 1, not 0. Okay, so 999 raised to the 0 power is going to be equal to 1, not 0. So that's why that's false. And so let me give you the official rule here. So A, where A is any number, so any number raised to the 0 power is going to be equal to 1. All right, and so if we apply that, let's say 999, we want to raise that to the 0 power. 
And well, any number raised to the zero power is just one. So that was why that was false. So these exponent rules, you're definitely gonna wanna know these. So this video covers most of them. There's some other ones too that are important. Um, so you'll wanna watch out for those, make sure you know those as well. But these are essential to know. So I've covered a bunch of them here, the main ones here. And so if you know this, you should be in good shape. You'll wanna make sure that you practice those other ones as well. And this question came right out of my uh, GED math guide, the GED champions guide free practice problem sample. You can get 50 free practice problems down below. I'll, I'll put a link to that. You can check that out. This was number six in that booklet. So you can try that out for yourself and you'll get to see those other exponent rules in that as well. So thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That way I'll know whether this was helpful for you or not and enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck with your GED math studying.